Welcome everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 2.114. Okay, it says determine the angle theta between the two cables. So we got these two cables that, are, that have forces, so F1 that goes all the way from A to C, and the cable and, and the force F2 that goes from A to B. Okay, so in order to determine the angle theta that is between these two angles, we gotta know that the multiplication of the vectors a, b, the, not the multiplication, the dot product of the two vectors so of the cables a, b, and a, c is equal to the multiplication of its magnitude, both magnitudes of those two vectors, times the cosine of the angle theta. So if we want to solve for theta, this will be equal to the inverse cosine of the dot product between those two vectors divided by both magnitude. So the magnitude of AB and the magnitude of AC. Okay, so if we follow that, first we need to find the vectors AB and vectors AC. So in order to do this, we're gonna define where A, B, and C are located. So let's start with A. A in the x direction is two meters. Um, in the y direction, it's negative three meters. And in the z direction, it's positive three meters. Then let's do b. So b is located over here. In the x direction, it has zero. In the y direction, it has a positive three. And it has zero altitude. Okay, we're good with that one. Then the last one is C, which in the X direction has negative two because it's going inside, so negative two. In the Y direction, it has the same, that B, which is three meters positive, and it has four meters going up, which is four meters, okay? So let's start by finding the vector AB. So let's just start with AB. If we want to find the vector a b we're gonna do b minus a so what do i mean by b minus a well we do the x minus the two in the i direction plus and we do the same for the y three minus minus three this is in the j direction plus zero minus three, and this is in the k direction, and all these guys are in meters. So if we clean this guy out a little bit, vector a, b. So we got zero minus two, we got negative two in the i direction, plus three minus minus three becomes six in the j direction, plus negative three, so negative three in the k direction. Okay, so that's good for a, b. Now, uh, let's do the magnitude of the vector a, b. So if we want to find the magnitude of the vector a, b, we do the square root of negative two square plus positive six x squared plus negative three x squared. Okay, so if we take our calculator, we will find out that square root of negative two squared plus six squared plus three, oops, plus three x squared, that will give me equal to seven. Okay, so the magnitude of the vector AB is equal to seven. Okay, so we got the magnitude and we know it's vector. Let's go for vector AC. So for vector AC, we're gonna do the same. So we do C minus A. So we do minus two, minus two. That will give me minus four in the I direction. Then we go three, minus minus three that will give me positive six 
in the j direction. And then we got 4 minus 3, that will give me positive 1 in the k direction. Okay, so after having these two guys, so we got vector AC and vector AB, okay. I forgot to do the magnitude of vector AC, so but the magnitude will be equal to the square root of negative 4 squared plus 6x six six squared plus 1 squared, all in the square root. Let's see what that gives us. So we get square root of negative 4 squared plus 6x six six squared plus 1 squared, and that's equal to 7.28. So this is equal to 7.28 meters. Okay, so now we have everything to plug in into the formula except the dot product. So how do we do the dot product? So at the dot product between AB and AC, it's equal. So we take each of the i components that we multiply. So we take minus 2 multiplied by minus 4. And then we add positive 6 multiplied by positive 6. So 6 plus 6. And then we do negative 3 multiplied by 1. So negative 3 multiplied by 1. And all of these are scalar. So no direction vectors anymore. So we get negative, negative, positive, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 6 times 6 is 36, minus 3, and that will give us an equal of 41. Okay? Now we have the dot product, and we have both magnitudes. We have the magnitude of AD, magnitude of AC. So according to the formula, theta is equal to the inverse cosine of the dot product, which is this guy, 41, divided by the magnitude of AB, which is 7, multiply also at the bottom by the magnitude of AC, which is 7.28. And let's see what this is equal to. So if we take the calcula our calculator, we go with inverse cosine of 41 divided by 7 divided by 7.28 and this is equal to 36.4 so this is equal to 36.4 degrees and this is our answer okay so that was it for this problem guys if you guys have any question or any suggestion please comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video